and I'm Maggie, and, and we're from the Gymnastics Two, and welcome to TC Tuesday. Today we're going to be showing you guys how to do a pullover on bars. So let's go ahead and get started. First, you need to determine which approach you're going to use for your pullover. You can start away from the bar and step into it, which is the easiest one. You can start next to the bar and step into it, which is the second easiest. And then you can start standing and bring both feet to the bar, which is the hardest. When attempting your pullover, make sure you don't throw your head back. Instead, you want to make sure that you keep your head looking at your feet as a guideline. You also don't want to drop your arms because if you do, it's going to be pretty hard to actually do your pullover. So keep them bent until you get on top of the bar. If you find that when you're doing a pullover you get stuck at this position and you can't get yourself on top of the bar, what you need to focus on is rotating your wrists. So there's a close up right here so you can see what rotating your wrist is going to look like and that way you'll be able to get on top of the bar. And of course it's going to be really helpful if you have someone spot you. For someone to spot you they're going to bring your back up to the bar and then push your legs over. After you've learned that some of these tips, you should try to do your pullover again just to see where you're at and what else you need to work on. If you're doing everything right, it might not be the fact that you're doing it wrong, but you might not be strong enough. So either try doing some pull-ups or some V-ups because it'll help you with your arm strength or with your core strength. If you're shorter, you can also try standing on a mat to do your pullover. That way you'll be closer up to the bar and it'll be easier to do your pullover. If you get your pullover from walking into it, you should try working your way down to getting to the hardest standing position. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment down below if this tutorial helped you or not, or if you already had the skill. Don't forget to come back for Flipping Friday, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye!